do some SQL injection in the Web Security Academy. Uh, let me close some of these extra tabs. All right, so here we are, SQL injection in the Web Security Academy. Let's take a look at a few of these. So here's one. And as always, the first thing I do is open the lab because it takes about 30 seconds to spin up the machine. Okay, in the product category filter, when you select a category like gifts, it will do this. Select star from products where category equals gifts and released equals one. Okay, and the point is I control this. So I can put an apostrophe in there and modify this code. So a lot of ways we'll do it. The way they recommend is give it apostrophe or one equals one dash dash. That's the most common SQL injection. And what that'll do is it'll change this gift to an empty apostrophe and then or one equals one and then have comment out the rest of it. So it'll show me all the products where the category is anything. Um, all right, so let's go here and uh, figure out, oh, refine your search. Okay, this is what's gonna separate into categories. So let me capture a request that does that. So I'm gonna uh, clear the old stuff. All right, and now I'm gonna do gifts, I guess, that'll be fine. Okay, now I'm getting gifts. So here is the uh, request. Looks different than usual, but anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. So here's the MIME type extension. I don't know what that's doing up there. Anyway, um, here's the request. Um, that's the response. Here's the request. Okay, there we are. Category equals corporate gifts. So I'm going to send this to the repeater. All right, and let's get rid of the inspector. All right, and so instead of gifts, corporate gifts, I'm going to put in that, apostrophe or one equals one dash dash. And now when I send that, the response is going to include many things, or one equals one, and it's including a whole lot of items. So I think that counts. That's the injection. Uh, let's see if it thinks I won. Yep, I won. All right, so that's the simplest one there. And let's try another one. Um, the next one is more impressive where you do a login bypass. So let me start the lab for this one. All right, and the point of this one, I think you do the same injection to log in. Oh, yeah, use administrator. Oh, this one, that's right, did more, more impressive login bypass. That's right, this one is fun. See, what happens is it's going to log in, it's going to select some data where username equals the user you put in and password equals the password you put in. But if you put administrator apostrophe and then just dash dash, it will just check the username and then comment out the part that would have checked the password. So this is pretty awesome. Just putting in username apostrophe dash dash will get you in as that user with no password at all. So uh, I'll just copy it from here. All right. So if I go here, here's a login, my account. And so I can log in as administrator apostrophe dash dash, and I can just put anything in the password field, and I'll get in. Their username is administrator. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, and those are the kind of things you can do with SQL injection, because the code, the data I type in is misunderstood as commands on the server. And this vulnerability is built into all the large language models, like I was saying. They fundamentally all have command injection, which is a really serious problem. The data you type in is not separated from the data the administrator put in. And there really needs to be a separation between those two, or you're going to have this kind of vulnerability. Anyway, uh, that'll get you started. I'm going to stop this recording.